Oh, I have got some exciting things to talk about today. But first off, I'd like to find a fairway. What a way to start. Big competition today. First one where my handicap could change. So you're getting every shot from a two handicap golfers round. Let's dominate the course today. Like I said before, some exciting news in prospect as well, so stick around for that. Disappointingly missed the fairway, so I don't get preferred lies. I've got 70 yards to this flag, slightly into the wind, so I'm going to hit it 68 because I expect it to bounce. And let's give myself a nice little birdie putt, shall we? Go a bit. Go a little bit. What a lovely start from the young man. Well, this then for a dream start, but it's not a tapping by any stretch. There's a bit of right to left in it. <laughs> Nearly missed it. Absolute panic stations. But there's no pictures on the scorecard and I'm under par early. <sighs> well, we're off to the dream start. However, if you think a good scores in the making, I'm pretty much 80 yards behind the winter tee, so instead of a 5 iron I've got driver. Stay there. That needs a kick left. Might be in a spot of strife down the right side. This is not easy. Miss the fairway right. Trees aren't really an issue though, thankfully, but pins at the front and on a severe downslope. It's 84 to the front and I'm trying to land this about 50. It's a hit and hope, basically, because it's so rock hard now. Bit right of where I was aiming. And it's still long. That's a gargantuan two put from there tough scene. Hello from miles away. Could have done without this. I'm essentially in a different postal code to the hole. Just gonna have to whack it and hope I can get it tight essentially. That was a bit of a miss hit. How do you miss hit a putt just out of interest? Made it to the top of the hill just. <laughs> um, not much else to be said. Wow, that's a lot of left to right. And that's not stone dead either. Early question marks about the putting stroke. <gasps> what on earth just happened? That was insane. Don't worry guys, it's still me. My goodness, well, we're staring down a four putt at the very least. Pull yourself together. Whee, we're finally in. What an epic double. <laughs> well, that was a fiasco, but never mind. Let's talk about this opportunity we've got. So, I've been approached by an apparel company to model and use their clothing. Nothing firmly in place as yet, however, still an opportunity that I'm eager to get stuck into so more on that soon let's go hit driver on the third and try and make up for that horrendous double take out a little bit of anger on this ball I think that's perfect I hope right side of the fairway right edge maybe Definitely some frustration creeping in, but it is early days. Got to just get over it and move on. And I've missed the fairway by a yard. And it's really sat down, so I'm just going to stab a wedge towards the green and hope it runs up there. <sighs> Hold your line a bit. Go. All right, I'll take that. It's just on the front edge, I think. Well, this was a decent leave in the end. 
A lot of left to right, got a 9 iron, just going to bump it forwards. The old analogy of within bin lid distance is the order of the day here. I've absolutely smashed that. Oh dear, so bad it's off screen. Well, the greenkeeper's haters. It's literally on the side of a cliff. I don't think I've ever seen a hole cut like that. The bottom of the hole is literally an inch lower than the top. So I'm aiming this so high that I feel like it's gonna roll back on itself a bit and let myself off for a ropey chip. That's still not high enough. Oh my God, that's impossible. Not to complain too much, but I don't know how you get the ball in the hole there apart from literally from tapping range. That was a very difficult hole location, so bogey's not the end of the world, and we have a great opportunity to pull one back here. Hold your line. Not sure, maybe. Just right side of the green, maybe missed it right. I'll take it though. That's a lot more like it. I'm not on the green, but I'm pretty close. But this course is entirely different to probably what you last saw where it's soft and you can just play darts. Here it's rock hard already so I don't think I can land this on the green so I'm going to have to try and land the 56 on the fringe and just hope it bounces and stops basically in the hole. That was actually well played except for the bad bounce. But we're putting for birdie. Well, I've not had a par yet and I don't plan on changing just yet. This for a birdie three. Put all those demons to bed. Whatever those demons are. That's one of the worst putts I've ever hit and I four putted on the second. Fortunately, if I had hit a good putt on that line, I don't think it was going in anyway. We've made our first par of the day, for what it's worth. This is a long hole, it's 196 for, to the flag, but it's straight downhill, so this is an eight iron. And no, I'm not Bryson DeChambeau, it just is what it is. Be good, please, that was a nice golf shot. Well, it was straight on line, but it's going to come up short, but I should be putting. I'm delighted with this approach. However, having just watched the PGA Championships, watching those pros was quite ridiculous. Like hitting it to three feet from over 200 yards just makes me think, what on earth would I shoot at Valhalla? Would love to know what you think. That was a very, very questionable read. But a three it is, and I won't complain. That's a tough hole today. Not quite the start I dreamt about last night, but it's not the end of the world. Still a lot of golf to be played. High towering draw with the three wood here. Not like that. Should be fine, but it's not great. Just up the tree line right. Right, well, I managed to hit an opposite draw. Hope you're enjoying the video. I know the quality's not quite there just yet, but it's coming. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It'll help me play better golf. Now I'm just going to try and chip a nine iron and anything on the green would be epic. That's actually quite well played in the end made the green and that was the plan not overly close but i'm actually really happy with that shot i did exactly what i wanted to do and we've got a birdie put maybe we can hold one from downtown who knows good not great 
I think I pushed it, but it actually turned out to be quite a good putt. In the end, a par is a par, and I'm happy with that. Well, as Paul just pointed out to me, I've managed to steady the ship with some solid pars. This is a very hard hole from this back tee, so I'm just opting for the hybrid for position and just whack one up the left centre with a tiny bit of fade and hopefully get in the fairway. Or a high, high toey one to the right side. Bounce left. Yes! Fortune, finally. Ah, it's nice to be rewarded with a fairway, even though execution was way off. Ball slightly above my feet. Got 9-9 nine, nine in hand, it's just a nice smooth one to the middle of this green. That was a gorgeous strike, but I think it needs to go. No, it doesn't. Yeah, that's a pretty nice shot from there. Maybe 20 feet up the hill, left to right. I think it's fair to say the course is showing its teeth today. I've hit two good shots and still got a testing putt to come. I'd love to make it, but I think two putts is a more realistic option. Ugh. A garbage. Felt like I hit that hard as well. That's the worst thing about it. Steady on, sir. Don't know what happened there, but it's still in. I'm enjoying myself. I'm not exactly scoring like a demon, but it's not so bad. These are genuinely tough conditions. And I'm just going to copy and paste Paul's shot, because that was delightful. But maybe just go slightly right of it if I can. Just like that. That is as good as I can hit a six iron. Just roll down to the right onto the flat, please. And all will be well with the world. I've got 117 flag probably playing more like 107. I'm not going to get any spin out the rough, so it's just a smooth sand wedge at the blokes watching me from the 9T. That's a bit right of where I want it to be, and it's way short. Golf shot. Nap. I am not doing myself any favours. This is truly awful. I'll be satisfied to get on the green as I'm just hacking into the grass behind the ball. <laughs> oh dear. It's only myself to blame. I'm out. And I'm one inch onto the green. <laughs> Ah, uh, you absolute idiot. Things not quite going to plan, it seems. Must have just hit entirely the wrong club in. But, imagine I hold this and made par. Just reach the hole, you absolute toilet. Well, this for a classy bogey. Yay! I suppose I should be happy that I made a five in the end. Not a very well played hole though. Well, having just witnessed one of the most incredible golf shots of all time, where Paul, aiming at the flag in the distance, the red one, he's all the way in the left centre of the eighth fairway. So thanks for the visual. And I'm also concerned that 7-iron isn't enough club anymore. But I'm not going back to my bag. So I'm going to absolutely clobber this. Oh, I've done the same thing. Well, I haven't. But it's still left. That's in bother. Capitulating. Hello. Fair to say I've got away with it in that I've found my ball. But that's about all I can say about it. I think anything within 15 feet is a win here. 
That was the weirdest lie ever in golf. That felt like a top without being a top, so I don't know how to describe that. Just flop this on the green, dribble it in, and a very unusual looking par. Nearly. Not a par, a bogey. Hope you've enjoyed watching. That's four over, I believe, on the front nine. Not my best, but my no means my worst. See you next week. Goodbye.